Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tuesday night. Thought we'd do a little show and tell tonight. Um, my last video was about chatterbaits, so I just received two or three other chatterbaits, and I thought, hey, what the heck, let's go ahead and continue the chatterbait talk. Let's call this chatterbait talk number two, and I want to walk you through some of the different ways that you can dress up these chatterbaits and make them look unique. Um, chatterbaits can simulate a lot of things. They can simulate just a wiggling thing in the water, whatever that might be, or they can emulate a fish swimming, which is probably what most of the fish believe it is. And then also it could be like a crawfish or some other type of creature bait. So what I wanted to do today is walk through some of the different looks that I have and what I've put together and what I used as trailers to give you guys some ideas. Now, these particular chatterbaits are the jackhammer chatterbait, but by no means are you limited to using these trailers on these baits. You can put these trailers on any chatterbait out there, even the cheapest ones sold by Z-Man right off the shelf at Kmart or Walmart. So don't worry about the expense of the chatterbait. Really today is about the trailers. So let's just talk about the first one that I used. All of these baits are the 3 8 ounce variety. So I don't use a real big heavy chatterbait. I fish a lot of ponds, so the lighter the better for me. What I'll do is as I'm talking about these, I'm just going to put the names up in the titles in the um, top of the screen here, and you can get all the information. The first trailer that I have is the Hog Farmer. The Hog Farmer, um, this one is called Spunk Shad. And this is really great because you can't really see it from this angle with the video, but it's very translucent and it's got like a straight gray silver look to it. Um, and it's got a little weighted tail back here that helps it kick back and forth. And we looked at this one before, so I'm not going to kill a lot of time on this one. The dressing on it is kind of translucent, but it's got a little hint of glow to it. You really can't tell here. It's probably going to look just straight up white to you guys, but this would be good even in clear water. So let's say you had this bait and you wanted to darken it up a bit and make it a little bit more visible. Well, you could go with something more like this. This one has the brown dressing on the breast and it's got still the white in the back with the salt and pepper but I've changed the trailer to a split tail white, straight white. So this trailer is totally white. And when this thing goes through the water, I think you're gonna see this a lot easier in stained water. The additional change on this is gonna be um, the white head here, instead of the other one had like a silver head. So this is gonna be white, you've got a black blade. So you've got everything pointing to a little bit more contrast in darker water and this would show up probably a little bit better in, in dark water. So this is kind of what this profile looks like sitting there like that. The next one, if you want to make a little bit more presence in the water and a little bit more attraction, you've got this um, chartreuse here. You still have the same pumpkin on the front as you did the other bait. So as this goes through the water, it's going to have a profile that looks something like this. And I picked a trailer on this one that kind of matched the color scheme of the bait itself. And I'll go through each of these trailers and what they are, the brands and size and all that stuff here in just a second. But you can see the sparkle inside of there. It's got the glowing kind of the brim colored ridge here and the darker ridge on top. Kind of mimics the same pattern that you have on this bait. Um, it's dark on the top. Chartreuse on the bottom. And then you also have the black blade. So this is going to be even more visible in the water to the fish than the original white one. So if you wanted to go ultimate darkness, now they do make them in black, I believe, but this one is the black blue. And on this one, you would think that I put a pumpkin craw on here, but to your surprise, it actually isn't pumpkin. It's like the, uh, the blue and pumpkin blend. It's like, what do they call it? A laminated bait. So it's got the blue color in there. So that kind of hides in the body and you have just the two craw pincher things coming out that are the uh, pumpkin colored green but I think it really makes a nice looking bait. Now you notice on this bait, it's a little bit shorter. The craw pinches are just sticking out of the uh, dressing, but you'll see those quite a bit when this bait's moving through the water. Um, so this one will be a pretty good one, especially if they're after crayfish. And if you're in stained water and you need a dark presence, you can, you can bounce these off the bottom. You can jig them up off the bottom. There are all different ways to work these. So you can actually get quite a bit of action out of these chatterbaits. So let's talk about what these trailers are and which ones I bought. And they're very inexpensive. So let's just start right off the bat with the Spunk Shad. I don't have a package for the Spunk Shad, but this is available. This is four and a half inches. I think it's the perfect size for these. The three and a half is just a little too short. Um, and this one is the Spunk Shad color for the Hog Farmer. I kept calling it Spunk Shad. It's called the Hog Farmer Spunk Shad. So you can get these in black, red, pumpkin, 
watermelon. So whatever color you need, you can get those if you like this kind of trailer. And this is actually a four and a half inch. The next one that I thought was awesome, it's made by a company called Lucky John, and it's called the Hama Stick, H-A-M-A -A Stick. The Hama Stick is just a small little short bait. It's about three and a half inches, maybe four inches total. Um, it's a laminated finished plastic. It's got good glitter. It's got a nice dense body. And one thing you'll notice about these baits is when you put these different uh, trailers on here, the keeper on this bait is a, a two-pronged wire so pretty much anything you're going to put on here, if you have to take it off, you will rip it in half taking it off. So if it's on here, it's permanent. So that's why it's super important to try to get these things nice and straight on the hooks as you're putting them on. Um, but yeah, that's the Hammer Stick by Lucky John. And this is a three and a half inch. There's five pieces in here. And this is called Wakasagi. And it has a strong mackerel scent. And dude, I mean, that, that thing stinks, man. I mean, it's like not good. It stinks bad. Like the Berkeley baits and stuff I'll pull out and I kind of like that smell. I do not like that smell. So hopefully that's a smell that fish like, but it, it stinks like old bad shrimp. It's bad. So um, the other one I like is made by Zoom. Zoom makes really inexpensive um, plastics and they're awesome. They all work really well. This is a split tail and they call this the Super Salt Plus Split Tail Trailer. This is a white pearl and they make it in different colors. You'll just have to check out their website to see what they have. And I brought this hook out right where these ringlets stop on this bait. It seemed to be perfect. Um, one thing you don't want to do is take that hook too far down the baits and kind of make it curl and hook up on there because you kind of lose that action. You want a nice straight trailer sticking off the back there. So when it's going through the water, it looks cool. But again, this is the Zoom. And these are little trailers. You can put them on spinner baits. You can put them on just about anything. Uh, it's called the Split Tail Trailers White Pearl Zoom Super Salt Plus. An idea too, though, if you need something that's white and you don't have any of those split tail daddies, you could do like a little baby uh, Zoom jerk bait. These little jerk baits work really well. They're three and a half, four inches. You could stick them right on the back of one of these. And last but not least, this craw trailer that I have, it's the smaller version of the Rage Tail. You can, of course, put bigger trailers on these. It's not a big deal. Um, the bigger, the better sometimes. Depends on what bite you're going for, where you're fishing, what the bass are like. I fish a lot of ponds, so I'm a little bit more finesse. But this is the Rage Tail. This one is actually called Rage Baby Craw, and it's the blue craw. And it's three inches long, so those two craw pinchers just barely stick out of the dressing. If you did the bigger one, the Rage Craw, uh, not the Baby Craw, that would stick out at about four inches, and you'd probably have these pinchers down to about here and they'd be probably about that wide. So that's something to consider uh, when you're putting these trailers on. If you want something bigger and fatter for a meatier, bigger fish, or if you're going for something more finesse, there's really no wrong way to do it. So a couple different ways to work these baits. You can cast them out as soon as they hit the water. You can reel them in and they'll start moving and chattering and you can just do a straight retrieve. You can yo-yo them, let them fall, yo-yo, let it fall, pull it up, let it fall. And that sometimes will get them to bite on the fall. Or you could throw it out and hit it on the ground just like a jig and you can kind of pull it up off the ground and then reel up the slack, let it sit like a jig, maybe bop it a few times and then pull it up off the ground and then let it sit. There's no right way to do these. Just play around with it, see what works for you. But I hope you enjoyed the video tonight, the information. Get you some chatter baits, put some trailers, mix it up, go fishing. Hopefully you're not locked down like the rest of the world. But if you are and you can still get out and go fishing, try to get some fresh air, get your mind off things. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.